we will connect WhatsApp with Google Sheets and ChatGPT. So first, we need to go here and Google uh, Meta for developers and click this WhatsApp business platform. Then we will click here apps and we will create a new app. I will say other and next. And this should be business next app name uh, just tutorial or whatever create app and then we will scroll down and say uh, set up to whatsapp so you can just select your page and press continue then I'm going to please start using the API. We will copy this temporary access token. So this is just for testing. You're going to need a permanent token later. So we're just going to copy this and go here, create a new. Uh, I'm going to discard these changes and create a new scenario. And I'm going to search for uh, WhatsApp and watch events. So we're going to watch when we get a message create a webhook and then add a connection i'm gonna say just a tutorial whatsapp cloud connection and we're gonna paste our uh, permanent token here which is actually a temporary token and that's oh, actually we need business id so it's here what's a business account id copy it paste it here Then let's go a bit back and we're going to configure webhooks. So you can click here on step three or just here on configuration. And we're going to go uh, here into UUID generator. Just Google that because we need, we need to generate some token. And I'm going to just uh, copy, generate, uh, copy any token. And this is what we are going to use. So we're going to paste that token into make.com, verify token, and the same token. And this, you need this token, uh, you need to save it. So the take, same token goes in configure webhook into uh, here, verify token in callback URL. But we still need, need this callback URL. So go back and you need to save this token and select messages and save. So now you created the webhook. Now copy this webhook and go back and paste it here and make sure to save this token because if you if you lose this, you're going to have to create a new app from the beginning. Verify and save. When you finish testing, you're going to click here, learn to create a permanent token and stuff, but we don't need that for now. Then we will click here, manage the fields. And I think I need to find messages and enable messages. And that's it, done. So now uh, let's go back to API setup here. And then you will scroll a bit down here where it says send messages to. And you will say manage phone number list. And you will add your own phone number. So for me, it's going to be Hungary. So I added my phone number and I'm just going to click here, send message below. And I will get a message to my WhatsApp from this uh, phone number. I can just reply. So now if you go to make.com and you have your this setup and just run once and I'm just going to say wait for new data. If you don't have this, don't worry. Uh, just send some message and you will receive that message here. And inside of message one, this is the text. Let's first say I want to save this to Google Sheets. So whatever message I get, I'm going to uh, say add a row. And then you're going to click add a new connection. And then you're going to sign in with Google, but I already have it. So I'm not going to do it. And then uh, select by path my drive and click here to choose file. Now, I made this Google Sheets file. It has chat ID, name, and message. I'm just going to save it here so you can see. I will search for this file by typing in name and 
selecting it and sheet name will be sheet 1 and here chat ID I'm gonna say uh, contacts WhatsApp ID so this could be renamed WhatsApp ID name is contacts profile name and message is gonna be messages text and body so now press OK and now if I run once and wait for new data if I just say some message hello it should be saved here just like that now let's add ChatGPT as well so let me go here add a module say ChatGPT and create a completion so let's add a new connection if you don't have it so go here to platform.openai.com slash API dash keys and then uh, create a new secret just call it whatever WhatsApp and create a secret key and copy it and I'm gonna go here and say API keys and rename your connection and save I'm gonna choose the model to be the latest one Omni add a message role system uh, answer users message and then I'm gonna go here and add another message and it's gonna be user and then this will be messages text body max tokens 500 for example okay so we need to click this again if you have this error and press okay again and then here, oh, actually, I want to add a module and WhatsApp and send this back to the user. So send a message. And I'm going to choose the proper, uh, it's the last one that I added. So this is our connection. You must choose the proper connection. Sender ID. Uh, now it's a test number, but later you need to go here and then uh, read like you need to add another number add a credit card and number if you scroll down you're gonna see add a phone number here and that payment method but I think you don't need to add payment I'm not sure so you, you can just read uh, if you want to go to the to like not development but production so you're also gonna have to turn this on live mode later so receiver is going to be here in contacts whatsapp id now you must pre-register receivers for so we already did it i'm not sure if it's the same for live mode but let's just you can just read this if you want and then message type text body will be result from openai and that's it and we will also save it here so this should work if i go here and I say, how are you? We should get a reply. I'm just a computer program, so it works. And the message is saved here. Uh, if you want to add also the AI's message, then you can just add another here, Google Sheets uh, at the end and add a row or do it in this one and save the AI message as well. So if you want to go live, then you click this live but you need to go to these basic settings and then add privacy policy link you can host this link somewhere you don't need to have a website but you're just gonna like uh, fulfill all of what, what you need to fill here and you will also here click here add phone number all of this is in api setup you will give some information about your business but you don't actually need to have any business just give the information you it doesn't need to be registered at all just write something here it's all uh, according it's all allowed by rules i think you need to also add a payment method so that's it thank you for watching if you have any questions leave them below and see you next time i will answer if it's possible to answer sometimes the questions are very like detailed and technical and hard and i'm not sure what the what you are talking about but try to explain so i will answer if i can make sure to save your scenario here and if you want to run this permanently then just turn it on here and i'm just going to delete all data whatever 
uh, there is a, yeah, I have maximum scenario reach, but just turn it, turn it on here and that's